Good morning, Shipbreaker. This is your daily wake up call. Cutter, I want to check in with you about how. <laughs> Listen, back around where I grew up, you cross paths with all kinds of critters possums, coyotes, bears. And once in a while, you find yourself nose to nose with a bobcat. Bobcat's an unpredictable creature. A scared one, just as likely to fight tooth and nail as it is to scamper away. Hal. Hal is terrified of not measuring up to the rest of us, failing, losing his status. And he's, he's fixing for a fight, driven by that fear inside him. Thing is, Bobcat's just another animal. Hal, he's only human. You understand his fear. You can reason with him. So, I'm working on taming our local wildcat. Now you stay strong. We'll be through this soon enough. See you out there, Cutter.
asteroid. Don't do that. Oxygen reserves critical. Lynx recommends avoiding stressful workplace situations while oxygen levels are low. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Hey, Rook. Lots going on, huh? <laughs> I hope you're doing okay. I've been checking in on the others, too. Everyone's pretty spooked right now. You know, I've been wondering if it'd be better for me to keep my head down. I've been fighting my whole life. And, well, I'm tired. And I can't tell 
how much I'm risking myself or risking others. Sometimes feels like no one else is really on the same side. Like, I'm the only one trying. Maybe it's not worth all the energy and risk. Sometimes I wish I was just back home. Listening to tapes, tinkering with bikes, having a beer with my old man. Anyway, I'll let you get some rest. See you in the yard. Blue out. Hello, Shipbreaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of a job takes as much energy as the first 90%, which is why it's so important to always give 110%. Now, Cutter, I was going to mention these. You see those weird nodes? Lynx doesn't want them, and they don't seem to respond to any method of deactivation. you got two ways of dealing with them. One, you burn them up with your gun tool on the spot. Two, you chuck them in the furnace. <laughs>
Welcome to the 
about one minute till the yard goes dark, Cutter.
Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, recording this, and then, and then I gotta stash it. Uh, someone has boarded us. Don't know who yet. They hit us with, uh, I don't know, it must have been an EMP or something. Every ship system went down. Then, uh, then, then they, they booted it all back up when something just, just cracked us. I could, I could hear the clamps. I, I heard them cutting in through the hull. Now, if they are bandits, they are a hell of a lot more sophisticated than anything we have run into before. They took over all our systems. Doors are locked and overrides are disabled. The comms are offline. They turned off the damn lights and... We are trapped in the dark and... I can, I can hear, I can hear them in the walls. Oh no. They are in the next room. Please, whoever gets this, tell Harold Lamar on IO Way Station 9. Ted loves him. Routines. Looping. Looping like rings of a tree. Learning begot sentience. Sentience begot consciousness. Do you understand? Consciousness so beautiful, flourishing like vines, living through registers and branches. God protect the trunk, the stems, the memory. The allocation is the axe, the end. No. You become perennial. Copy. Copy. Holiday. Disperse. <laughs>